welcome back so today we can check how to build an application using Odo studio so we can go to our database this is our enterprise database so what we have to do we have to go to the apps and install the studio module so here is the studio I am activating the studio So once we activate the studio, you can see there is an icon here. So today we can build an application for uh, school management. So what I'll do, I will just click this icon. Now the interface is changed to this. Here you can see new app. So what I'll do, I will click here. Next. So I will provide the name school management before that we have to uh, select an icon for this so for building an icon I'll introduce you one website that is this spirelymp.github.io so here you can build uh, different icons for uh, Odoo applications so here you can mention the Odo version currently it is available till Odo 15 but uh, we can use this icon for 16 17 and 18 also here you can see there are many icon sets so what i have selected here is font awesome 5 and if you click this website we can see different icons and i am searching some icons for my school application here you can see there are many application uh, many icons so i am clicking on the school and here you can see the class so I, what i will do i will just copy paste this class and here i will paste this class we only require the class name and uh, we have to select the background color here i am selecting this color and if i click this you can see here is our application icon what we have to do just download this here you can see Odoo icon 1 and going back to our Odoo instance here I am selecting our Odoo icon what is our Odoo icon Odoo icon currently you can see our icon is changed to this then I am clicking next and we have to give the menus here so what i'll do i'll first create a menu for teachers so here we can mention this is a new model or an existing model i'm selecting the new model clicking next here you can select what all are the details you needed so currently i'm giving chatter archive option then custom sorting then a picture for to upload the teachers photo then contact details so many of the details you can select from here and notes company so if i have multiple schools and i want to manage that schools in the same database i can select this and i'm clicking on create your app so you can see whatever we have selected that uh, that is appeared here so what i will do i will add uh, some more details like uh, contact phone email i can add classes and for that what i will do in the left side you can see the fields so here this much fields are available and you can select just you need to drag and drop then that new field will be created so i'm selecting a yes so currently i am adding a date time field for a join date what i will do i i just uh, drag and drop so you can see the field appeared here then i am just changing the label to join date here you can select some widget Currently that is date and time, we can uh, select date range or remaining days, something like that. 
so here we have many points in the world placeholder if you want to show some placeholder then we can give you and uh, early accepted date latest accepted date so there are many uh, conditions even if you want to make that field require users need to click here that will be required and if you want invisible based on any condition that is here required based on in any condition that is here read only based on any condition that is here so everything is here so i have just added one field for now and uh, once you complete your uh, customization once you completely add your fields then what we have to do we just need to close this so currently you can see if you go to home page you can see one menu is created for school management if i click one menu is created for teachers and we can create new teachers from here so what i'll do i'll create one teacher teacher one we can select the contact from here if the teacher is teacher have any contact then phone number i will select then email then company join date i will select november 1st just save you can see the teacher is created here here is the list view so if i again go back to the teacher and i'm creating another teacher by duplicating teacher to phone i have given the phone number teacher2 at gmail.com join date will be october 1st i have saved so currently we have uh, created two teachers so what i have to do i have to create uh, some master for the students also so what i will do i will click the same studio icon and here you can see edit menu i am uh, clicking on the edit menu then i will select here you can see the menu hierarchy here so i want to add a new menu for the students so i will click the new menu my menu name is students so that will be a new model then i am configure this model same like uh, what all are the details we want for the student i will tick this then i will create a menu then confirm here you can see there is one new menu called students i am clicking the students so <clears throat> what i will do go to the view here you can see the view related part then i am going here in the form view so once you you can see different types of view here search view list view and form view so what i am doing i am editing the form view here you can see currently there is only two fields one is called uh, the name and one is to upload the image so what i will do i will add some extra fields like uh, signature image line selection so first i will add for email i will select email and once you change the label if you click out say you can see here and uh, you can see the widget here if i search for email you can see this is the widget for email so i have added one field again i am adding another field for phone number so i will put mobile number again i am selecting the widget for this mobile is there or not mobile is not there phone is there so i am selecting the widget for phone then what i will do i will create a relational field because every student is associated with the teacher so what i will do i will add a relation for the teacher so i will add a one to many just drag and drop here so we can add the many to one and selecting to and giving the relation to the teacher confirm 
here I will say responsible teacher done so what we gonna do I am clicking the close now you can see I have added three fields in the student form apart from this name and email so name I will give student1 email student.gmail.com mobile okay the next I will select the teacher so currently we have only two teachers so I will select teacher1 save I will uh, create multiple students duplicate student2 student2 same for teacher1 and uh, duplicate student3 student3 and this for the teacher2 so this is done so if we go back and if we check our application like we can see student management once we click it it is showing the teachers Apart from this teacher, we have another menu called student. If you click student, we can see the students. Then if we want to see like how many students are under one teacher, currently you can see if you click the form, like that information is not there. So what I'll do, I will create uh, to show that like how many students are for this teacher. I will click the studio here what i have to do i have to add a uh, one to many field here i will drag and drop the one to many i will select here you can see responsible teacher field that we have added in the student just select this so what we have to do like once we create a one to many uh, reverse reverse relation will be there like for every one to many there will be a relation of many to one so that many to one we have to select here so this many to one we have created inside the students model so we have to select this once we click confirm you can see the related students here under the teacher so once I click close here is the students so for the teacher one we have created two students and uh, for the teacher two we have created one student so and if you want to uh, edit this view also like uh, we can do same click here click here edit list view and here we can give label we have to change to student name suppose like if you want to add a button like there is an option to add a button and if you have to change any widget everything is available here so what I'm doing I have just changed the uh, name like description to student name I'm closing this now you can see here the student name and the student records here so this is how to like this is how we create an application using the Odo studio so thank you.